All right, so who am I here with? This is Mr. Disrespectful. Why be he doing? All these soldiers getting touched. They dropping back to back. Mr. Disrespectful. Why they call you? Why they call you Mr. Disrespectful? Cause I'm disrespectful, bro. I do I do disrespectful shit. Okay, so for the people out there that don't really know what you do, can you kind of explain a little bit about stuff and what you do? I like get money, pose, sling pose. Okay. All right. I gotta ask, man, cause you know, like I seen that and I was like, yo, that was crazy. The whole digging up the grave and all that. No tombstone, who digging dirt up? Hey, yo, where the f Kwani at, yo? Kwani, where the f you at? Ah! That was kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, that was some little light shit. Fuck that shit. You, 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 you regret doing that or no? I don't got no regrets. I don't got no regrets. Yo, what, what, was the whole, what was the whole reason in Mahana? What was it? Hey, bro, come on, bro. Fuck that boy, bro. Fuck that nigga. Okay, okay. Fix my jury. Fuck that nigga. That nigga dirty as shit. So what made you want to do music and stuff like that? Um, Cause my homies, my homies had did music and shit. But I really started taking it serious, like when niggas start passing away and shit. So I had to like step up. So they left it to you type shit, right? Yeah, basically, some, not basically left it to me type shit, but like, I just like, took no, off, they I just took they lived through the music. Oh yeah, no, yeah, they lived through it, yeah, you just got that little dumbass accent, and this shit like, yeah. I can't hear that shit. Nah, nah, and, 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 and Philly, you call, like, me, they call me like poppies. Yeah, poppy niggas, <clears throat> hicks, whatever. They, they got a lot, they got a lot of eggers uh, uh, over there? Yeah, so I don't even know that was a type of hairstyle, bro. Yeah, it's, it's called, called like a reeking cut. It's called agar, you know. That like over here we call it coconut again. Yeah, yeah. I ain't cracking no coconuts. You don't, you don't, you don't like coconuts? When you in the island? Or I've never been to one yet. You soon? You soon about to be there? Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully. So, what is one thing that people don't know about you? Uh, damn. Could be anything. One thing. Yep. I don't even know. One thing they don't know about me. I'm from North Philly, but everybody think I'm from West. Why they think you're from West? Cause that's where like, I don't know, like that's where I grew up at. That's where like YBC, like that's where everything, like all this shit I clean, like that's West Philly, you know what I mean? So what's YBC? Like young bag chasers. How can I be a bag chaser? I mean, you can't be a part of this group of bag chasers, but you could be a bag chaser. Ain't none. So, so you're what, chasing a bag right now, you're doing a vlog. So what categorizes somebody as a young bag chaser? No, I think that just what it was. We were 16 and shit, 17 when this shit got created. Speaking of YBC, I see you got it on a chain. Who the jeweler? Danny Jewelry. Danny Jewelry? Yeah, South Street, South Street, Philadelphia, 426 South Street. 426 South Street? Yeah. Should we test them real quick? I mean, you can test that shit, do what you want to do. All right, let's, let's try the Cuban. My shit gonna beep, bro. Hold on, hold on, hey, 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 hold on. Got six steps. Come on, bro. That's cause you're not on the diamond, bro. Don't do that, bro. Come on, bro. Look, hold on. Let's get closer to the camera. Do that shit right here. I got you. Okay. All right. So you did a, you did a song with an artist, and you know. Um, you know, tragedy had happened. What was going through your mind, you know, when you heard about Lil Schoon? I ain't gonna lie, one little, little Schoon, one little, little Jeff. But, shit, that should be crazy. The life we live, though, like, this shit could happen any day. 
and like that shit just like eye opener for like motherfuckers that live this life like once you get to a certain like I ain't gonna lie I ain't gonna never say like stop drilling and you know? you don't never stop I ain't gonna lie I can't say stop drilling but like when you get to a certain extent like or a certain point in life though like you just gotta move a different way like move a certain way carry yourself you feel me move I ain't gonna lie you just gotta do certain shit a certain way like feel me and like like, little bro just was like unfortunate. He was in an unfortunate situation, like for me. But that was my folks though. I fuck with uh school though, like heavy. How how would you guys meet each other? Uh, for real, for real. Um, when he first signed this deal and shit, uh, Jeffrey Vaughn had reached out to me and shit. He worked at like Signal Records. He got his own record label and shit. Signal under Sony and shit. But I was about to do some shit with Jeff, but he wanted me to do some shit with his artist, like his new art, one of the new artists he had signed. And around that time, he had just signed um, Skoom and Vine off 1700. I had did some shit with both of them. I had linked up with both of them out in LA and shit. That's fire. Like, how do you try to work on your mental health? Because I know stuff like that makes you think about, like, you know. Not not, not stop drilling, but you know, like how, how does you work on your mental health? I know this drill shit. It could take a toll on your mental health, you know? Yeah, there's different ways to cope with shit, though. You just gotta find your way to cope with, like, deal with it. You feel me? I ain't gonna tell y'all my way of dealing with it, but, you feel me? I deal with it certain ways. Respect, respect. So, you 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 had a song with this artist, and then you took him off the song. Can you kind of explain why? Like, you didn't take him off the song, you just took his name out the, out the title of the song. Who? Cool. It's called Killer, Killers and the and Killers in Bronx. Hmm. Can you kind of explain why you took his name out the song title? To be honest, like I don't really like get out of character with niggas. Like I don't really know. I mean, like, cause we really hurt niggas. Well, I hurt niggas. Like, feel me? So it's like young boy, like. New York niggas just in general, not all New York niggas. I'm gonna stop saying just New York nigga, New York niggas, cause I love New York. I don't want New York niggas to be thinking I'm just saying they soft or turkey or none of that. But like, I'm talking about like the New York rappers that be portraying the image. They the ones that I be like referring to when I say New York soft and all that. Like, and like EBK Chopper, he fall in that category. Like he ain't not even from New York or he was not from the Bronx. I had to find that out, feel me? It ain't no killers in the Bronx, you not even from the Bronx, like, so it ain't no point of that. For me, I kept the song up, cause my homies, my homies was still on that joint, but Yumbo is a bitch. Oh. And he was like, when I still catch him, I'm still gonna do something to him. What are you, what, how you feel about New York Joe, you being, you from Philly? I mean, like, it's cool. I mean, I ain't really got too much to speak on New York Drill. I don't really know what's going on over but by the shit I do know, like, it ain't really, like, too much going on. So, for the There's most a couple niggas that's like that, though. I fuck with. There's a couple niggas I heard about, but it ain't really too much shit here. So, for the most part, you, 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 you fuck with, like, the mu musically? Do you fuck with the music? Musically? Uh... I mean, like, I don't really understand what like, you They just be like, you can't just, well, I don't know. Niggas in Philly do that shit too, though. Just be dissing niggas, but it's like a difference in Philly. All right, niggas just be dissing niggas, but like. You be people, dissing people too. You're nah, disrespectful. No, nah, no, nah, you're not getting what I'm saying. No, nah, just listen, though. Niggas just be dissing niggas that, like, they didn't do no, nothing too. Like, you can't diss nobody, you ain't do nothing too. Or like somebody that's in your inner circle had to do something to him or like some shit like that. Like niggas just be like out here just dissing people that got shot 15 years. Like niggas dissing motherfuckers that they that died before they even jumped off the porch in New York. Like, you get what I'm trying to say? I get what you're trying to say. Like so in New York, motherfuckers be dissing a motherfucker that that they didn't even know. Like you're gonna they be doing that in Philly too though. Like, but that shit is regular shit. So my question to you is, can you be a drill, a drill rapper if you ain't do no drills? Fuck no. What? 
you gotta go drive, participate. You gotta, you gotta do some drive. You gotta at least drive. Yeah, it's a lot of it's a lot of drive. I mean, it's a lot of cab drivers out here. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of it's, you ain't even like you gotta get participation credits. You gotta contribute to the work. That's why I call it slider provide. I made that up. It's either like it's either like when you you know what that shit is. Even it's, that shit self-explanatory. I ain't got explain nah, that it shit. It is self-explanatory. Slider, you. you gonna provide for the guy. It it definitely is self-explanatory. You ain't doing none of that. You can't be considered new drill right now. Well, speaking of New York drill, I seen you linked up with Emro. How did that kind of happen? Uh, see, I got a song on the, on the way. Well, I don't know if y'all just dropped it yet. Uh, oh, I did a song. I did some shit with um, Emro a little minute ago. Okay. That was like probably like last year and shit. I did some shit with Emro. Uh, bro, he fired. I fuck with him. Do you think being a, a rapper is the most dangerous job in the world? No, it depends on what you rapping about. It depends on what kind of rapper you is. It ain't dangerous for everybody. For I niggas mean, like me, yeah. But look, look. I mean, for cat rappers, look, look. it's dangerous for them too, cause they gonna get caught out in traffic and something on Evan tour. But look, look. But look, not not, cause you know you you guys. He's from Philly too. PNB Rock. He was in a drill rapper. But he was in a got caught, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. In this world. You got niggas be failing to realize this, bro. We live to die. We don't live to stay alive. Like a fortune. Like eventually, you gotta pass away. You get what I'm saying? No. Eventually, no. but it's just like, is you gonna put yourself in certain predicaments to go early, or are you gonna put your put yourself in a predicament for you to last long? Feel me? And it's like people, and some people just be in the wrong place at the wrong time, and that just when that shit happen like that is that's when. You know, it was just nothing they could do to prevent it. Like, you feel me? It was just meant to be. It's wrong place, wrong time type shit. I mean, it's an unfortunate situation. A lot of people consider being a rapper the most dangerous job in the world. But, I mean, you know, everybody has their own being opinion. Being Mr. Disrespectful. Bop, bop. So, is there, is there a Mr. Disrespectful? No, I'm trying. You want to look, you see my hair not done. I don't even got no bitch to do my hair. I'm pretty sure you can find somebody. I need a bitch to do my hair. I'm thinking about getting locks. I'm on some New York shit right now with the breed. So what you got? What, what, what you got coming up? Any music, uh, EPs, anything projects? I just dropped the fucking the tape. Uh, make buns and make nuggets part two. That shit been out for like two weeks. Okay, okay. That shit going crazy though. That shit going crazy. I got a couple features on there. Tata on there. Okay. Uh, Skrilla. Um, Rundown Spaz. Fucking, I got Brandon Buckingham on my tape. Brandon Buckingham, that's crazy. Yeah, I got Brandon Buckingham on my tape. Um, who else I got on there? I think that's it. Oh yeah, I got Lil Jeff. I got Lil Jeff. Um, Bloodhound, Lil Jeff, and um, Lil Schoolm on my tape too. That's fire. That's yeah. fire. Anything else we can expect in the future? That's in the works. Shit, I'm gonna go to the studio right now. I don't really be going to the studio like that. That shit, like, I be having to chill off that shit. That shit be brain fucking me. I be chilling out that shit. I ain't go to the studio why like you be two saying, months. Why you be saying that be brain fucking? Cause like I can't just go to the studio every day. I'ma wind up start saying the same shit cause I don't write. Oh, you freestyle? I'm freestyling, yeah. So I be having to take a break. So wait, so are you a Lil Wayne type of dude? Like Lil Wayne don't be even be rem remembering the lyrics to his song sometimes. That yeah, was my favorite rapper growing up. I, Lil Wayne, yeah. So so you ever heard a bar and you be like, damn, I said that? Nah. Uh, I'm well. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That shit happened to me a lot of times. <laughs> That's what happens when you freestyle all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, like, where do people can find you? Instagram, YouTube, all that good stuff. Uh, fucking YBC Duel Four Two. You know, Instagram be clapping on my pages. I just made a new Instagram. Feel me? Go Man. follow me. Why they be clapping your pages? But I don't got no other social media. So any other account y'all see out there in the world that ain't me. Them YBC dual pages that's on YouTube, that's not me. My name is Young Bag Chasers on all platforms. Stop streaming on other niggas' platforms. Y'all giving them niggas revenue. And what you want to let the people know before we end this interview? Suck my dick. Oh! Yo, so I, I got a gift for you. You want some gumbo? 
Bro, go get the gumbo, bro. Nah, I got, I got some gumbo. You smoke? Go get it. Where the gumbo at? What well, you was smoking earlier? What was that? That was that McButton shit. McNuggets. That was my shit. Let me see. Let me see what you got. I got, I got some gumbo. Is it real gumbo though? Yeah, my gumbo's. I got some shit better. I, ain't gonna, than, I heard gumbo not smoking, but this shit smoking right here. I ain't gonna. I got, I got some shit. Real, I, like, you know, I can never sleep on gumbo. Gumbo definitely smoke. I got some shit better than that. I got some gumbo for you, man. Smoke some gumbo, bro. No, it ain't nothing better than this right now. Don't say that. What? I got the gumbo. Come on, bro. Bro, I got the gumbo, man. Where the gumbo at? I got the gumbo. <laughs> but it's not no fucking. That's the gumbo. You don't, you don't, that's the gumbo. Bro, this nigga. That's not bro. the gumbo. Look what this nigga got me, bro. This not no fucking. Bro, hold on, hold on. I gotta go. That's the gumbo right there. You about to try one of them? Bro. Tell me, tell me, if, tell me if it's if it's good or not. Tell me if it's good bro, or not. What the fuck, bro? Fuck no, bro. Smell that shit.